Well, the one thing I get asked when people ask me, uh, you know, what do I do with my spiders, is that they all think that I keep them loose in the house. They're like, well, they're just running about your house. I was like, no, no, each spider has to be uh, kept individually because they are cannibalistic. So if there's tons of spiders loose everywhere, eventually you'll have one big fat spider. So I had my first spider when I was six years old, six. My dad um, got me a present. I wanted a spider, I'd always seen tarantulas in like a National Geographic book and I'd always pointed it out. I find them absolutely fascinating. Um, you'll find me on most evenings sitting in here just literally watching what they do. They're creatures of habit and creatures of instinct more than anything. So um, they will bulldoze their substrate around the place, they will make house and um, they will just do what spiders do and watching them is just absolutely brilliant. Um, I've got a lot of spiders ranging from the teeny teeny tiny baby spiders which are called spiderlings all the way up then to the Goliath burden spider which is the size of a dinner plate. It's about 11 and a half inches leg span. And the oldest spider I've got here is a, an ornamental tarantula. So the ornamental tarantula has been with me here in this spider room for about six or seven years. I do quite a lot of breeding of these spiders, so um, sometimes um, one of them will mature to be a male and if you don't have or can't find a female for that male then um, he'll just wander and wander and wander his tank looking for a female till the end of his days and I really 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 hate when that happens. Uh, I always try to find female for him so that he can do what he's meant to do on the planet, isn't it? Spiders are a fantastic pet. Uh, they don't smell, they're clean, they don't take up much room. You don't have to have a spider room this big to hold your spiders. Literally, one of the enclosures behind is absolutely suitable. I'm very, very lucky. Spiders really don't take that much looking after. They don't have to eat every single day. They can go long periods of time without eating at all and they do this in the wild quite quite frequently. But when it comes to feeding, I feed my spiders once every 10 days to 14 days and I'll do the whole room in one go. And you can make some really, really elaborate kind of um, display pieces so that if you only want to keep the one spider, you can have it as a talking point and as a display point in your house.